is eight o'clock on Tuesday. Um, as you have seen, I've just been in the studio doing the framing for um, for Feast, um, and I uh, thought I only needed 24 of those little screws, but I actually need 48. Um, so I am running to the hardware store really quick to get um, 24 more screws, or maybe like 30, just so I have a buffer. Um, and then I have to dash back because I have uh, an interview with Boston Magazine at 9.15. Just gonna be on the phone, so. Uh, but I still wanna be like back and settled in and everything before that. So, gonna run to the hardware store, get the screws, and then get back and get the framing done. Yeah, and he won't get Good morning, guys. It is about 8.15 on Wednesday. Um, I'm in the studio. I um, have to leave here at like nine to get over to Somerville to hang the show. Um, I finished all the framing yesterday. Um, I don't remember what, I, I know I vlogged some yesterday morning. I think I was a very bad vlogger and didn't actually vlog that much. Um, oh, I'm getting the battery signal. Hang on a second. Anyway, yes, I did all the framing yesterday. So you can see here they are, they're all ready to go. Um, I still, well, they're almost ready to go rather. I still need to add um, some hardware, some mounting hardware to the back since they're gonna hang on hooks. Um, if they were just going right on, wall, on nails or wall studs or something, they'd be fine as they are now. But since they're gonna go on hooks, um, I got some of these that I'm gonna um, screw into the back. So I need to do that. I also need to print off the little label cards and um, just do one or two other things. Uh, before nine, so I've got like 45 minutes to do that. Um, then I'll go over to Somerville and hang the show. I'm gonna bring the camera and try to vlog, but um, we'll see. I always feel awkward vlogging in public, but uh, yeah, I'll try. So I'm um, gonna get these ready to go, get them packed up, and uh, go from there. how the back will look when it's got the hanging wire on it and everything. It'll be pretty good. All right, I'm just about to hit the road. I am running late, um, as usual. Uh, yeah, hopefully I can get there by 10. Just got to Gracie's in Somerville. I'm here with Aaron, and we are getting ready to hang the show. All right, the show is hung, and Aaron is gonna get me a scoop of ice cream so that we can have a prop um, while we take some pictures, um, and then I'll head back getting the uh, black raspberry chip, which is the same as the one that I painted. All right, they have these awesome things called, what do you call it, fluff dipped cones uh, or? Fluff cone. Fluff cone. Yeah, like dips it in the fluff. Yeah, it should be wearing gloves, but you're friends. So. Yeah, we're all good. Oh my gosh. Basically where you just looking for an excuse to have a torch in an ice cream shop. <laughs> Smell that? What's that? Oh my gosh, it's like childhood. Yes. You can't just roll out of bed and make a nice cream. No, you can't. No, that's talent right there. Awesome. Thank you. guys it is um, <clears throat> about what time is it quarter to hang on a second uh, hello again <laughs> I had to reload the 
printer paper. Um, it is quarter to 11 on Thursday morning. I have just been um, getting stuff ready for tonight. I hung the show yesterday, as you saw, um, and the opening is tonight from seven to nine. Um, and I just wanted to bring, I've had a few requests for uh, to bring prints, so I am running off some of the prints for the limited edition of the, um, the donut piece that I did, the timed release thing. I think I mentioned it in last week's vlog, but um, it ended up being a really small edition, which is um, fine because I've had a hard time getting it to print um, the way that I wanted it to. So um, I've run through a bunch of tests and um, have, have ruined some. So that's kind of a bummer, but I did end up with um, one that I'm happy with. I'm actually ending up putting it on um, rather than on the Moab paper that I usually use for printing, which is really nice. Um, I've ended up putting it on the Reeves paper, which is the same paper that I made the original on. So um, I feel like it looks really good. Um, let me show you. Yeah, so this is a print. Um, I, it's it's larger than size right now. I need to cut off the ends to make it 11 by 14. Um, yeah, and then I will also be bringing um, a few little stickers and postcards just for the first few people that arrive. And then I think I'm gonna do um, some smaller donut prints. I'm gonna bring one dumpling print, a few of the ice cream prints. People had asked for those. Um, and then one of the taco. Yeah, and then I'm also uh, chopping up some little pieces of paper because I'm gonna do some um, some live drawing of people's ice cream cones. They'll be super, super simple. I think I'm just gonna use a, um, a water pen and my little pan set of uh, schminky watercolors. Um, yeah, so, I mean, if it's ice cream, it has to be quick. What is even happening there? Uh, yeah, so I need to finish that, get all, get these all, like, wrapped up and put in cellophane, the little cello bags that I use. Um, and that'll be what I do for this morning. Um, and I think I'll probably leave tonight around 6. Um, we were going back and forth on whether Eric and Penelope would come. And I think I'm just going to go on my own because... <laughs> This past Sunday, we let her uh, skip a nap and she loved it. It was the, there's a Christmas parade that goes like right on our street because we live on kind of a busy street. Um, and she loved it and had so much fun, but she was a nightmare afterwards and all the next day. So her usual bedtime is 6.30. So I feel like it would just be like way over the top to try to have her out from, you know, seven to nine, like hours after she's usually in bed. Um, and I just didn't think enough to, to set up a babysitter ahead of time. So I'll be going solo. <laughs> so I hope people come. I hope there's at least a few people. Um, my mom was texting me and was like, oh, you know, your dad and I want to come. And I was like, no, you, you can't. <laughs> um, uh, just because I'm like, it would be obviously, oh, I'll be kind of embarrassed if nobody comes, <laughs> but, um, if nobody comes, but my parents, like that's, I feel like that's even worse. I would rather just like sit there by myself and eat ice cream. So we'll see. Um, yeah, I think, I think they were a little bit hurt, but they understood. So, um, yeah, that is the plan. Uh, that is the plan for today. Um, I have some more, obviously trimming of the paper to do. Um, and then got to sign things and get them packaged up. Okay, so I have uh, just been trimming up the um, the larger donut prints, and um, I am pretty bummed about this, but I think I'm actually not going to be able to. Um, I don't think the prints are good enough quality. The, the paper is like really beautiful paper and initially looking at it, I really liked how it looked, but I was looking closer and um, here I'm gonna show you the difference so you can see it. Um, this is the paper that I usually use. This is the Moab, um, which isn't quite as thick as the, um, as the Reeves, but it's, um, it's a much brighter paper, and I don't know if this is gonna show, I mean, I think you can see the, the difference in the color of the paper, and overall, this one is just way more vivid. Um, the reason this doesn't work is because <laughs> the the three that I ran off, I don't know why the, the printer kept 
spitting out ink on these and I ran the cleaning and I cleaned the nozzles and I did all of those protocols but for some reason all three of these um, ended up getting ruined and I don't have any more of this paper. So um, that was why I tried the Reeves and um, initially I, I really liked it but it just like when I'm looking at them side by side here I just feel like this one is not it's not as vivid and then the part that really seals the deal for me um, is like you can see how nice and dense those dark colors are here and same here um, when you compare it to this like it's just much spottier um, the other colors are are, are pretty dense and are okay but um, dark color printing can just be really uh, really tricky so um, I know plenty of artists that do print on Reeves paper but maybe they have different printers um, yeah, maybe other kinds of printers work better with with printing onto um, onto this kind of paper. But uh, yeah, so I am feeling kind of bummed right now, and I'm trying to think of how I'm going to handle it um, because you know I did the timed release thing, and I'm supposed to send these all out tomorrow. And this is the paper, the Moab paper special order, so it wouldn't get in for like a couple of weeks. So I think I'm just going to have to email the people who ordered them and um, I mean, thankfully it was only three. It was like a really small edition. Um, but I think I'm just going to have to email them all and say like, I'm really sorry. I, c I can do an eight by 10, um, but that's all I can do. So I'll, I'll either offer to refund them or like partially refund them and then do an eight by 10. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just kind of bummed about that, but um, it is what it is. So I need to, it's like, what time is it? Like almost 11:20, so I need to um, sign these, the ones that I'm bringing tonight, get them packaged up, um, and then uh, potentially uh, have a, a few minutes to email the the people who bought the donut prints. So, womp womp. Um, yeah, and now I'm trying to decide what to do with the. It's just like the other frustrating thing. Like I should have stopped and compared them before I printed out all three because. It takes a long time to print it uses up ink and like the reeves paper is expensive so i just wasted a bunch of materials but um yeah that is what it is and i i just wouldn't feel right sending them out as they are because they i see how good it can look on the right paper and uh it just doesn't yeah it's just not doing it for me so um i'm gonna get all wrapped up at some point i will like put myself together a little bit more before i leave the house this evening i'll probably do that while penelope is napping um so yeah i'll finish things up in here and then go downstairs and get lunch Good morning guys, it is Friday, um, a little bit after eight. I just got into the studio and um, last night was so much fun. Uh, I uh, definitely vlogged some, I don't know how much good footage, I haven't looked at the footage yet so I don't know how much of it was actually usable but um, Carol, a uh, long time subscriber and supporter, uh, ended up coming and she was very kind to <laughs> several times like restart the recording and reposition the camera and, um, and even just her doing those things like also reminded me that I needed to pay attention to the camera too. So I think it may have been one of my more successful vlogging in public, 
uh, attempts, but uh, we will see. At, at this point, you will already know because if the footage was good, you will have seen it. Um, yeah, so um, it was really fun. I am terrible at counting, uh, at keeping track of numbers, but I think like throughout the course of the night, there were probably like 40 or so people that came. And I mean, I think at least 25 or so of them were there specifically for the event. And uh, probably about eight or ten of you that came uh, specifically from uh, YouTube, YouTube rather. Um, and honestly, like <laughs> I, I came home last night and my heart was just like so full. It was, uh, it was really a fun event, and I am so appreciative to um, those of you who made the trip out and uh, braved the cold because it was freezing <laughs> um, and ate ice cream. And uh, I did live, end up live painting some ice cream. Hopefully, we have footage of that. Um, but that was super fun too. Uh, it made me really nervous. My heart the whole time was like, ah. it was like I was playing a game of Pictionary or something. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. And there were folks who uh, we got to chat a bit more in depth and a number of you are, are artists yourself. So it was just really fun um, talking with you guys and hearing your stories and hearing what you're working on. And I definitely want to do um, more, more meetups and more get togethers in the future. I think especially like living in this area like in, in LA or New York there are a lot of artists but and, and there are a lot of artists in Boston too but it's just not as much of a like art scene as LA or, or New York so I feel like uh, if I can be a part of helping to support that and um, helping make opportunities for us to get together and get to talk with each other then um, I definitely want to do that so hopefully that will be something that we tackle in the new year um and then the the paintings uh themselves i think there are six that sold now so um that's really awesome i'm hoping that they all will sell just because all this money is going to charity um and i would love to be able to write them a nice big check right before christmas so um, there still are some available in my online shop. I'll put a link in the description. And uh, if you live in or around Boston, you can um, use the one of the codes that's um, that's in the listing description to um, to get rid of the shipping charge, and you can just pick it up in person. So uh, I know I think most people who've bought the originals are doing that so far. So um, and if you don't live near Boston, I will happily ship wherever. So. Um, yeah, today it is kind of back to usual, um, now that I have been, like, putting all of my time on that for the past, definitely the past week or so, I'm a little bit behind in some admin stuff, I have a couple of, uh, proposals and quotes that I have to put together, some emails I need to reply to, and several orders to put together. I also wanted to show you guys, let me set this down here, okay, here we go. Um, my new um, stuff came in from Moo a couple of days ago. Oh, I have one more thing over here. Yes, new stuff came in from Moo a couple of days ago, so I got um, new business cards because I was totally out. Some of these are the same, like I had, I think, all of these designs I had before. Yeah, and then these are the new ones. Got the blackberries, donuts, cherries, grilled cheese, apples, lemons, coffee cherries. Oh, this one was existing too. I had already done this one previously. I think these are all, yeah, these ones are all existing. The um, bullfinch, can never pronounce that, the fancy German pretzel, strawberry, all that. Yeah, um, so all those business cards. As usual, I'm very happy with the print quality. Moo always does such a nice job. And then I got some new postcards as well. And I'll be putting some of these up in my shop soon. Um, let me take this off. Oh, geez. All right. So I got new dumplings. Uh, lots of dumplings. And I think I'm going to be doing, I'm going back and forth of whether I want to do like four things of dump like four a pack of four of the dumpling ones or if i should do mixed like variety ones like i have in the past let me know what you guys think about that and then the back just has blank and it's writable and has my website on the bottom um and then grilled cheese this is new and then i'm super excited about these ones i have a feeling you guys are going to like them 
um, patterned ones, and this is the first time I have done anything like this. So I got a bunch of the strawberries, a bunch of the bread, what else? A bunch of the avocados, and last but definitely not least, the pie. So yeah, four different patterned versions. Um, these ones I think will probably just go in my shop. I may send them to clients, but because I'm not like really pushing the surface pattern design aspect of my business right now, that's more just kind of something I do for you guys. Um, I don't know whether I'll be sending these to clients or not. Probably they'll all just go in my shop and I'll just send, you know, these kinds of ones to clients uh, for now. But yeah, I got those. Those are all new. I'll put the band back on later. And then these, some of these are new and some of these are existing. Let me see. Or not existing because I used them all up, but um, the same as what I did last time rather. All right, so the blackberries are new. Clementine is new. Lemons are new. Watermelon. Apples. And then down to these ones, I think these are all existing ones that I had done last time. Pie. More pie. <laughs> Can never have enough pie. Yeah. Um, I did all horizontal this time. Last time I did a mix of horizontal and vertical, but because they, all of the backs are horizontally oriented, I felt like I just wanted to keep it all horizontal this time. Um, so yeah, some of those will go in my shop as well, and some will be sent to clients. And then... The last ones, I did these as mini prints before, but I hadn't done them, not mini prints, five by seven prints, sorry. Um, and, but I hadn't done them as postcards, so I just wanted to give it a go. Um, I feel like I, I wanted to have some kind of, something that wasn't just on the white background, just to mix it up a little bit. So um, got these done, and I'm also really happy with these. As usual, the print quality at Moo is just like really beautiful. Um, I love the feel of the paper. So um, got all of those uh, and I probably will not get them in the shop today. I'll have to put that on the um, to-do list for next week. Uh, yeah, I need to focus first on getting out those proposals and then getting orders prepped um, to go in the mail. So um, that will be first priorities today. Um, and uh, probably will try to do all that this morning and then I have a babysitter this afternoon as well. So um, yeah, I haven't totally decided uh, what we'll do then, but um, I will let you know. All right, so I'm gonna dive in to my very exciting admin work. bit after 11 30 um i've pretty much just spent the whole morning uh doing emails and admin um and uh, getting a few orders i had seven orders this week so not too bad um a few orders prepped and ready to go um i can't remember if i said what ended up happening yesterday the um the printer just like wouldn't do those 11 by 14s without spewing and staining all over the edges of the paper. And I don't know why that was happening. I did all of the like cleaning procedures and stuff, but basically I ran through all of my paper um, trying to figure it out. So I only ended up with two that I could like kind of trim the edges. So I just ended up writing to those um, to the folks who had bought those and said, you know, do you mind if it's a, a 10 by 13 and instead of an 11 by 14 and I'll take a little bit off the price. And, um, but I only had two that I could do that with. So those went to the first two people that bought it. And then the other person got an eight by 10. And then there were some other purchases afterwards, people who wanted to get them. So I just told them that they had to do eight by tens as well. Um, so, uh, yeah, a little bit of a bummer. Um, I still don't know what the issue is. 
I'm not sure. I've been going back and forth anyway on whether like I want to keep doing my own large format ones because even though this is the first time it's been so bad, I definitely have had plenty of times when it's not great <laughs> before and where I wasted a bunch of paper and the larger pieces of paper are really expensive. So it's just kind of a pain if you're going to like do one print and you also end up having to ruin a piece of paper to get it right and that's even if though I've already done like all of the testing and all of the like color matching to figure out like the the perfect settings but just somehow on on the bigger pieces of paper sometimes the printer has more issues so even though it's supposed to be able to do that size so all that to say I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep doing the big prints in-house myself or whether I'm just like I have a really good local printer that I like who's done my um, some of my mailers before and I know that they would be able to do fine art prints um, and somebody else actually last night just recommended me um, a printer in Cambridge I think that's supposed to have like this like super fancy really nice printer so I might look into working with them as well uh, yeah so um, I'm in a pretty good spot to stop for lunch which I'm going to um, Eric is with Penelope now and then I'll she and I will have lunch and I'll put her down for a nap as usual um, and then um, Abby, our afternoon babysitter, is coming this afternoon. Um, and I think this afternoon um, I probably will just spend a little bit of time planning some YouTube content and some Skillshare content. I have been meaning to do both of those things for a couple of weeks and it's just been all over the place with other stuff. So um, I think I'll probably do that this evening, which will not be very exciting. Um, so I probably will wrap up the vlog now. So one other thing I wanted to mention is that if the editing is a little bit different this week is because a um, magical angel of a person named Megan had uh, reached out to me and offered uh, to help with um, editing some of my videos. So um, this is her first time editing one of my videos, my first time having somebody else edit one of my videos. Um, Meg's channel will be linked in the description. Um, so definitely check that out since she's an artist as well and also makes videos um yeah so big thank you to um megan and um as usual thank you to all of you guys for watching and especially to my patrons um for supporting this channel and enabling me to um make more videos uh that is it for this week i hope everybody has a good one and i will see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.